Hello everyone, this is Jim Cross from Village Missions and I'm here to talk to you about associate missionaries and how to take care of them effectively while they're serving the fields. Associate missionaries provide significant support to the churches that we serve. In times of transition, an associate uh, who serves on an interim basis can help the church leadership hold the ropes and set the stage for the village missionary, the eventual village missionary who will come and serve long term. Our associate missionaries are usually seasoned veterans of ministry. They're usually retired missionaries. They have a depth of wisdom that can only be obtained through decades of ministry in the trenches. So when they go out on associate assignments, they're often enjoying their most fruitful years of ministry. We appreciate our associates and we want to do our best to take care of them. So we want you to be aware that associates may enjoy favorable tax treatment of the payments from the churches that they serve. Associate assignments are temporary by nature, and when an assignment is for a limited duration, it is possible to characterize payments made by the church to the associates as non-taxable. This is why they are on what the IRS calls a temporary work assignment. This is an assignment that, by definition, takes you outside of an acceptable commuting distance from your home for a period of one year or less. Any reimbursements that the associate missionary receives for travel and living expenses while on a temporary assignment are not taxable. The church does not need to report these reimbursements on a W-2 nor does the associate missionary need to include this income on their tax return. So how do we do this? Well, we need to be careful with timing. If the temporary assignment exceeds 12 months, the IRS now considers the assignment permanent. Also, if the assignment is indefinite, that is, the associate goes out to help the field and isn't quite sure when they're going to be done, then from the start, that is defined as indefinite, and those payments will also become taxable. So we're going to work with you. We're going to work with the church and the associate to help you avoid those pitfalls. The mission has asked churches to help associates with travel and living expenses, and sometimes the funds budgeted to pay for the benefit plan may be used to reimburse the associate. So treasurers, how do we do this? How do we substantiate these payments? We recommend using the per diem rate. Per diem rates are the equivalent of a fixed amount paid to employees to compensate for lodging, meals, and incidental expenses incurred while traveling on business rather than using the actual expenses. Because per diem travel allowances are set fairly high, it's easy to eliminate the relatively modest supplements paid by churches. So, 2018 per diem rates for most areas are $93 a day for lodging and $51 a day for meals and incidental expenses. So for a total of $144 for 30 days in a month, you're going to be over $3,000 easily and um, that's a pretty high ceiling to to cover the relatively modest supplements that most associates are given by the churches that we serve. So we have a worksheet that you can use to calculate and document the exclusion. We make this available to our associates and you can always get it by contacting us here at the office or even by asking your district representative. If you have any questions about this issue and you would like to contact me personally, I'm very happy to hear from you. The phone number here at the office is 800-617-9905, or you can reach me by email, and that is jcross at villagemissions.org. I always look forward to hearing from churches that we serve. That's what we're here for. So feel free to reach out whenever you need us.